What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aquarius, and you enjoy my content, you can um, slash the sub button to be uh, notified of future readings. Just saying, just saying, saying. Um, I got, this is for the sign of Aquarius. This can resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is flu fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply, I can't speak. Apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Um, I appreciate all the love and support to the channel, you guys. We're at like 8,900 subs right now. I appreciate all the love and support. I truly do from the bottom of my heart chakra. I do. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. Okay, so... Um, I did get a channel message in as I was meditating on your uh, week four's energy. I apologize. It is late, um, but I'm here. So um, the channel I received was huge tower moments coming. Um, some of these tower moments you're going to create on other people. For some, they're going to be unexpected tower moments. For some, it is in your workplace. For some, it is personal. Um, you plug it in however that resonates. Unexpected pregnancy about to be revealed is what I just heard. Oh, okay. So huge tower moments coming if this resonates with you. Um, for some of you guys, you're going to create the tower moments. For some, they're going to be created for you. For some, it's in your workplace situation. For some, it is uh, whether you have own a business or you are in an employment situation or what have you. For some, it's in your personal and some kind of unexpected pregnancy is about to be revealed. So that could be the tower moment, unexpected tower moment. For some of you guys, if that resonates, some kind of unexpected pregnancy is about to be revealed in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, it doesn't have to be your partner pregnant. It could be somebody you're connected to pregnant. Um, it doesn't have to be you impregnating this person or you pregnant is what I'm trying to say. It could be somebody you're connected to pregnant. Some kind of unexpected pregnancy energy. However, that resonates for you. That's at least, I feel that's at least one of the tower moments for you guys that's unexpected. Now, for some of you guys, you're going to create tower moments for other people in a negative sense. Um, so you plug it in, however, that resonates if that resonates. Five of Swords reversed, Two of Cups reversed. A particular Aquarius is about to end a workplace affair. Way too much drama. Way too much. Okay. Well, there you go. Okay. So if this resonates with you, Aquarius, um, I heard you're about to end a workplace affair. Way too much drama. Way, way too much. So five of swords reverse, no conflict, no chaos. You don't want the uh, workplace drama, basically. You don't want drama, period. If this resonates with you, I don't blame you. Some kind of workplace affair energy, I can, I can see where it caused a bunch of damn drama. So you're about to end the relationship you are. So this, for some of you guys, this could be a tower moment you're about to create. This could be a tower moment, just saying, for the other person. Because apparently it's causing too much drama. And you don't like the drama. And I don't blame you. You're an Aquarian. And Aquarians usually don't like drama. They usually don't. They're very analytical, logical, to the point, and they don't like fucking drama usually. Of course, it's how you manifest and grow yourself. Um, just because you're an Aquarian don't mean you don't like, not like drama. Just saying. I've been around Aquariuses that do, so I'm just saying. But typically, you guys don't like drama. Whoever this is, they don't like drama either. So I'm just saying. So they're about to end it. Break up energy. Two of Cups reverse. That's Break up energy all day long because they don't want the workplace drama. Five of swords reversed. No conflict. Break it off, baby. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. It is going to piss this person off in a huge way. They may quit. Oh, okay. I heard that it's going to piss this person off in a huge way. They may quit. So um, that's a heads up for if, if, if this resonates with you. I heard it's going to piss this person off when you break up with them, basically. And they may quit. So you plug it in, how that resonates. A um, little heads up if that resonates with you. Okay. But, you know, if they quit, then, you know, that's on them, man. I mean, everybody should be adults around this biatch. 
Um, if they can't handle a breakup, then obviously they're not very emotionally mature. Um, I'll tell you that. And um, I heard it's a workplace affair. So I feel for some of you guys, you're already in committed relationships or they're already in a committed relationship. It sounds like they're not getting what they want and you're about to create the tower on them. It's going to piss them off. So they're going to try to retaliate against you and quit. But you plug it in how it resonates. Sounds like they're pretty drawn to feel. Yeah, dear God. Spirit messages. Okay. Let's see. Spirit messages you have for sign of Aquarius. Spirit messages you have for sign of Aquarius. Judgment reverse, temperance upright. I just want to say real quick before we keep going. That's why I don't, and I said this in another sign. I think Cancer's reading. Um, because in Cancer's reading, somebody's co-worker is about to ask them basically to do a, hom a homosexual threesome orgy, basically. Um, and it's one of their co-workers about to ask them to do this. So I said this in Cancer's reading, and I'll say this in here because you've got co-worker energy in here too. That's why I do not date coworkers. I do not freaking date them. I dated one coworker when I was 18, and I, you live and you freaking learn. I'm 38 years now, uh, old now, 20 years from now. I have never dated any coworkers since then, and I have not done it for strategic reasons. And the big reason why is drama in the workplace. We had a little drama in the workplace when I dated um, the person when I was 18. But I was his supervisor and he was an employee. So it really kind of, I kind of nipped it in the bud um, for the most part because I was over him. But that's why I don't do it is what I'm trying to say. Because of those kind of reasons, it causes too much conflict and chaos. Now, of course, you have free will. Somebody's already in a freaking workplace affair. You have free will to do what you want. I said that in Cancers too. But that's why I don't do those kind of things. Because it breeds drama. It breeds craziness. It breeds chaos. It breeds conflict. Judgment reverse, temperance upright. Things are very, very, very peaceful, and in particular, Aquarius' home life right now. However, your partner is holding huge secrets. They're keeping it peaceful for a reason. They are planning on leaving you. Oh my God, whoa. There has been a history of infidelity in the past. That is your confirmation. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. So who, oh, I heard there was a, there has been a history of infidelity in the past and that is your confirmation. So, it, you know, everybody don't freak out. Think your spouse is cheating on you. Just saying, just saying, or your partner or what have you. Only you would know if this resonates with you. I heard the confirmation you would know from spirit, basically, if this resonates with you, is there has been, it sounds like a long history of infidelity in the past. So if that doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't resonate with you, okay? I don't want to be freaking people out, saying that I'm saying blah, blah, No, no. You take the messages that resonate. You know your story. Only you know your story. I don't. Just saying. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? Just saying. So the spirit confirmation in that was that there was a history of infidelity. I strongly feel with my intuition, I didn't hear this from spirit, but I feel with my strong intuition, it's probably a long history of infidelity. Um, probably. Okay. But you have to plug your life outfits. But whoever this is for, you're having a very peaceful home life right now. Home life. I, it's with a partner. It could be a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a live-in, a spouse, a um, fiance, etc. 
but it's very peaceful right now and there has been a history of infidelity but there's a reason there is because i heard they're basically planning on leaving your ass um so if it was me i would check bank statements i would check receipts i would check the little things around the house hopefully there's no lacy thongs or lacy man briefs that are not yours a muck in the home is what i'm saying i would do my own little investigation um if it was me and i was on the other side of the screen watching this video of course everybody has free will and you do what you want so judgment reverse no wake up call you're basically blinded to the light because things have been i feel it's almost been too good in your home is what i'm trying to say I feel it's almost been too freaking good in your home no wake up call quiet peaceful home life but they're doing it for strategic reasons balance upright coupled with balance upright it's very almost too calm and peaceful home life but they're doing it for strategic reasons for some you could be dealing with the sag because this is sag energy if you are or you're not they could have sag in their sun moon rising venus ortho midhaven or jupiter if you are or you're not you plug it in how it resonates holy freaking a man messages you have the sign of Aquarius an Aquarius is about to reach out to a Scorpio soon past lover this Aquarius is about to get a huge wake-up call they're not interested For some, it's a homosexual relationship. For some, it's not. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so if this resonates for, for you, Aquarius, um, I heard you're, you are about to reach out to a past lover. And they're a Scorpio. They could have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid or Jupiter. But I heard um, you're about to get the shock of your life, basically, because I heard they're not interested. They're not interested anymore, I'm assuming. Um, for some, you could probably get pissed um, because they're not interested, possibly. But you plug it in however that resonates. Um, for some of those situations, they're homosexual relationships. So girl, girl, boy, boy, man, man, woman, woman, what have you. For some, they're not. So you plug it in how it resonates. Queen of Swords upright, two of wands upright. A particular Aquarius is about to run into someone very, very, very hardworking in a employment situation. Very hardworking. They're about to be very impressed. They're going to want to reward this person soon. Well, this is a good one, Aquarius. This is a good one. Um, this is this is a good one. This is the way it's supposed to be. Now, some places it's this is not the way it's supposed to be. But um, this is not the way it is. Some places, trust me, I've worked at a lot of places. I've got screwed at a lot of places, just for real, for real. Um, but some places they really do reward their people the way they're supposed to. I'm not saying about all places. Um, some places I've worked at has been really crappy. Some they have not. So you plug it in, however it resonates. But I heard basically um, you're about to run into somebody very, very, very hardworking. It's in an employment situation, so it could be your business or y'all could work in a company together. Um, however that resonates, but you're going to realize they're very, very, very hardworking and you're going to be very impressed and you're going to want to basically reward them soon. Um, so I think promotion or raise or bonus or something of that nature. Um, they're very, they're going to be very, very, very good at their job. Very. Okay. I heard they're going to be very, very good at their job. Very. So they're going to impress you, basically. They're going to impress you. They're going to be very good at their job. They're going to be very hardworking. You're going to want to basically reward them. And that's the way it should be. Any good manager, bosses, supervisors, or CEOs, energy, maybe for some of you guys, you are those things. 
That is the way it's supposed to be. That is absolutely the way it's supposed to be. Absolutely. So for some, I feel you could be manager, bosses, supervisors, or CEOs, and you're about to basically reward this hard, very hard worker person that's, it sounds like they have experience. You're about to come in contact with them and they have lots of experience, but you're about to realize they have lots of experience and they're about to impress you basically. So Queen of Swords Upright, the truth, honesty, clarity on this person, um, that they're a very hardworking individual. They're knowledgeable. They have experience. You can tell they, that they, they, they know what they're doing in their job sector, whatever that is. Two of Wands Upright, you wanting to take action. I think this might be promotion energy. This might be um, a promotion or a bonus or a raise or something of that nature, or maybe it's giving them more hours. However, that resonates. This is a good one. Let's see if I hear anything else. And a particular Aquarius is about to make a very important phone call to pool connections to get someone an interview soon. Very impressed by them. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. And a particular Aquarius is about to pull connections to get someone an interview. Um, I heard this Aquarius, if this resonates with you, Aquarius, you're very impressed by this person. So you plug it in how it resonates. They've impressed you in some shape, form, or fashion. And it sounds like you want to pay it forward or you want to be altruistic and uh, use your positive connections and get them an interview. And that's beautiful. So truth, honesty, and clarity on the connection. You pull in connection energy to get this person an interview. Action taken. That's the phone call energy I'm feeling. Phone call energy to pull the strings to get this person an interview. There's nothing wrong with that. If you see something, something positive in somebody and good qualities in somebody, that's, 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 there's nothing wrong with that at all, in my opinion. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. I was waiting to see if I did. Okay, let me see if I hear anything else and then I'll close it. A particular Aquarius is about to reach out to a corporate office soon and obtain some very important information. Survey information. It's going to lead to many arrests, fraud and theft. You intuitively know this. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So if this resonates with you, Aquarius, I heard you're about to call corporate. Um, you could work in this company or you could work outside this company. I got a similar message in a channel reading the other day. I think it was yesterday or the day before. Um I think I heard air sign in there, but this is coming in in Aquarius's. But um, you could work for this company or work outside this company and have credentials to call into this company because it's obtaining somebody else's private, personal, confidential information. So if you don't work in this company, you have to have credentials outside this company to call in to the company, however that resonates. But it's um, attaining some kind of important survey, um, important survey information on somebody in this company whether it's um, one of your employees or you're calling outside this company and you have credentials to, to call, however that resonates. But I heard um, obtaining this information is basically about to send many people to jail, but you intuitively know this. So you know, I heard fraud and theft. So you know this person has been frauded and thefted. Um, you are highly intuitive. You already know this inside yourself. You already know, for some, you could have already seen physical evidence. For some, you just could have known inside yourself. But you know whoever this information you're about to obtain, you know they've been frauded and thefted from. So you're about to pull it to get the evidence is what I'm feeling. That's exactly what I'm feeling, but you plug it in how it resonates. Cold, hard evidence cannot refute it. It's going to create many positive series of chain events for this person's information you're pulling and you know this. It's really going to help them out in a huge way. Okay, 
Um, I heard um, it's going to create many positive series of shame events for the person's information you're pulling. And you know this. So you're highly intuitive and you know this. So you're about to help this person out. You know they've been frauded and thefted from. So, uh, somehow you know they have. I don't know if you heard it word of mouth or you've seen some kind of evidence that they've been frauded and thefted. But there's a reason you're going and pulling the survey information. Because you already know they've been frauded and thefted. But if you pull the information, you have the evidence. And so it cannot be refuted. Um, but I heard it's going to create many positive series of chain of events for this person that's been frauded and thefted. But it's going to land, land other people in jail. But it sounds like they need to. Need to be landed in jail because you shouldn't fraud or uh, thief from anybody. So you plug it in how it resonates. All right, you guys, we're done. We're done. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Namaste.